Hi everybody. All right, today we're going to do a deep dive into um, my own little personal hell. Well, personal hells. We're going to call this the next few weeks just like personal hell month, or personal demon month. Starting with the snap bushing for the wires that go down into the left wing. There's a lot of them, uh, and they come from every direction. And because of that, getting that snap bushing on was a mucker. Oh, oh, holy sh**. Uh, this session that you see me working on here, where we do actually get it done, this isn't the first session of me trying to get that damn thing on. Uh, so I just got pissed off and left it, because when I couldn't do it, I'm like, some fear set in, like, holy crap, maybe I can't do it. Which is ridiculous. But still, you know, the fear can grab a hold of you. And that's basically what we're dealing with for now is all the little things, or not so little things, that I've just been avoiding because of, of fear. Thankfully, I have an overriding fear that's helping me, and that is that I have to have this plane done so that when I'm done with my transition training, I can come back, take a day to relax. Because I come back on Friday from training, take Saturday to relax. Sunday, if it's a beautiful day and if everything looks good, we're going to go fly. There's no reason not to use the vast amount of knowledge you just learned in training on your plane. So, two and a half months, and i got to get my ass in gear. Starting with this thing. Thankfully, it's fixed. In fact, you know what? Here's a picture of that damn thing. Don't be like me. All right. So, with that done, we're happy. Uh, in the last video, I think we'd done the banjo fitting for the for the brakes. We're happy there. We enamelized the seat pan. Looks pretty good. Man, that gl fresh glossy enamel looks so good. Yes, it's a little battleship e, but still. Uh, yeah, test fitting the control cover. Again, just like the other side, if you're going to use a return fuel line, especially one that's the same diameter as a regular fuel line, you're going to have to carve out the re uh, restraining pieces, or the restraints, and you're going to have to sand off the front of them so that the control cover fits. It's just not made for it. Now, of course, when this goes to get inspected, all these inspection panels will be off, but for the meantime, I want it to look like it's done. All right. <clears throat> and in that theme, here are one of the wonderful boots made by Classic Arrow in Oregon. I haven't got it uh, stuck down. Uh, can, down yet, but uh, as you can see, very, very pretty. All right, so next little side project, and uh, something else that I've been avoiding, is dealing with the center console. Uh, again, as you may remember, I've been working on a carbon fiber armrest that's going to go between the seats, and I still am. That is still going in place. However, the center uh, cover between the two seats in the center needs to have a cover on top of it. As you can see, it's sitting there on the bench, and it's got a couple of holes in it. One is for the default USB charging location. The other one is for music input, like a 3.5mm jack, or 2.5mm jack. Anyway, we're not using either one of those, so we need to make a cover. Um, I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just happen to have a couple, uh, a nice piece of 40 gauge aluminum so we're making a cover for it that is the next step all right hope everyone's having a happy Tuesday I know this, this was supposed to go out yesterday I'm just been really busy but now I'm back so anyway hope everyone's having a happy Tuesday thank you for joining me see you soon